Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Microsoft Office activation error 0xC004C032 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use command prompt to activate office. Now to do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. And in here in the command prompt window what you have to do is copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and instead of the product key line make sure to type in your actual product key and then press on enter. Now after pressing on enter just wait a bit and then you can close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to use Microsoft support and recovery assistant. Now to do this you have to access the link that I posted in the description below. So open up your default browser. So this is the official Microsoft support and recovery assistant page. And what you have to do in here is scroll down until you find a setup file for the recovery assistant. Just click on the download button, now choose a location, preferably on your desktop, and just click on the save button. Now you can just wait until the download is finished, minimize your browser, and then access the setup. From here on, just click on the install button to install the recovery assistant. And now the last thing you have to do after installing the application is actually accessing it. So double click on the Microsoft support and recovery assistant. So if you're having problems with Microsoft Office, for example, just click on the Office Apps option and then click on Next and you can just start troubleshooting following the instructions on the screen and solve the issue in no time. Next in line, another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and select System Configuration as an application from the search results. What you have to do in here is just click on the Services tab and as you can see you have a big list of services. But the thing you have to do is tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then just click on the disable all button. From here on you can head over to the startup tab then click on open task manager and what you can do in here is just disable all the enabled startup items. Depending on their priority of course you cannot just disable your antivirus for example but you can disable the things that you find unnecessary for your PC. So for example we can click on this one and select the disable option. Now you can just close task manager, close as well system configuration, restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reinstall the office application. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon. Now in here make sure to head over to apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on installed apps. Now the last things you have to do in here is scroll down until you find the Microsoft Office application. Then just click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. Alternatively you can also select the advanced options and then scroll down until you find the reset section and you can repair the application if you want to or just reset it. But if you decide to uninstall and reinstall the application, just click on the uninstall option and just head over by reinstalling Microsoft Office. Then you can just check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.